If not do it, shut up. Sussex is sneaking into a commercial airliner to flying back home LA. After facing heavy criticism for traveling around in private jets, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were seen sneaking into a commercial airliner while flying back home to Los Angeles following their recent tour of New York. According to a report in Mail Online, the couple snuck into the last two seats at the front of an airliner for a five-hour flight from New York to Los Angeles. A picture shared by a fellow passenger on social media appeared to show Harry in a suit and face mask deboarding the plane after it landed in LA. OK this might sound unbelievable and I couldn't get a good picture and I get sick, you can say this could literally be anyone, but, Prince Harry and Meghan were on our flight to LA last night. The passenger claimed, adding that the flight was delayed for the couple. We were held up for about 20 minutes from our departure time and they were snuck into the last two seats. We didn't even know until a girl waiting to get off the plane next to us pointed them out. I couldn't get my phone out fast enough but it was them, the post further read. The passenger noted that the financially independent British royals were quickly whisked away to their seats leaving other passengers in shock at being so close and breathing the same air as our beloved royals. The couple, who spent three days in New York to mark Veterans Day this month, were slammed as hypocrites by royal experts and critics for talking about climate change while repeatedly using private jets for their travels. A flight on a private jet from New York to California is estimated to produce 17 tons of carbon emissions. During his speech, Harry spoke about his service, which included two tours of Afghanistan, and said it had helped shape the person he is today. On Thursday, Meghan and Harry attended a luncheon at Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst in New Jersey. Their recent trip in a commercial airline comes weeks after they pledged that their foundation Archul would go carbon neutral by 2030. The couple have been branded hypocrites for their use of private jets as well as their recent decision to publicly and financially back an ethical Wall Street fund that invests in oil and gas. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex who are currently living in their $14 million mansion in California, shared a mission statement on their Archul Foundation website stating that they will work with an independent consultant to track all Archul-related activities from inception to understand our collective footprint. Posting on Archul earlier this month, Harry and Meghan commented that they have actively made choices to offset and balance their carbon footprint but that nearly every activity in daily life results in the release of carbon into the atmosphere. They added that they will be looking at what they eat and how often they eat it as well as their commute and use of heating and electricity in order to cut down their footprint. The couple were accused of hypocrisy in September after they left a concert urging action on climate change and extreme poverty on a private jet. The two attended Global Citizen Live, a 24-hour concert, dubbed Wokestock, that featured performances from Stevie Wonder, Jennifer Lopez, BTS and Elton John, among others. The event called on the wealthiest nations to meet a £70 billion a year promise to help developing countries become green, and for the US to halve its emissions by 2030. But the couple flew home to their home on a Doso Falcon 2000 private jet, according to The Sun. Touching down in their private jet, the virtue signaling couple embraced members of staff before heading back to their Montecito mansion.